Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a pen pal letter. Um, I'm actually going to be making it majority from the Kiki K Paper Lovers book. You guys often ask me um, what book this is. It's by the brand Kiki K. Um, and this is, I'm pretty sure it's called Lucky Stars, this one. I've actually done a, like a little flip through from it when I bought it um, a few weeks ago. So I'll put the link um, above the screen now so you can click on it. And it will also be in the description box below. So um, I'm making a little flip book and I've majority used um, things that come out of the Kiki K book. But I've also used a few little bits and pieces um, from my stationery collection. So let's get started with the video. So I'm going to read you a poem I wrote today and um, the reason I started writing these poems was because I started doing voiceovers over my videos a while ago and you guys really love the stories I was telling and then um, I actually took the voiceovers from the video and created a podcast. So I'm going to put the podcast in the description below. I would really love it if you guys checked it out. Um, they're little stories and things that I've written, a few poems as well. Um, they go for about three minutes each. And um, yeah, I really love to know what you guys think. Like, there, I'm going to be putting things in the podcast that you don't hear on this channel. But a few of these stories you've probably already heard on this channel. Um, so yeah, go check out the podcast. Really love to know what you think. And I'll be updating that podcast hopefully weekly. Um, and I'll be adding the new voiceovers I do on my channel to that podcast if you wanted to listen to it again. So let's get started and I'll read you my poem. Tools were taken from you and you learned to stand up and say no. Your freedom was never stolen because you chose to have a go. You chose to discover what was on the other side. Now you will never wonder what waits if you decide. You have walked the bridge again only to realise that your book is not finished because you can't visualise what you have not learned to what you will discover. Trust that your gut has your truest intentions and know that each day you wake up you will keep writing with no misconceptions. You might be writing the best novel, but you won't know until it's done. And even then, it's not up to you. So have a go and you might hit home run. There is a process you need to take and sometimes you're not ready to complete the book. Your chapter has not ended. Your writing is poor. Your tools have been taken many times before. Deep down, you know this is what you need to do because someone told you you had to speak true. You are not writing your bestseller because you don't know how. You have not the means or knowledge that you need to succeed. Every time they took away your tools, they were opening your eyes to other possibilities that were previously disguised. Remember when you walked proudly over the bridge only to discover that you didn't belong? They weren't your peers. You had been wrong. You may have looked the part, but you didn't fit in. You conformed and your mind wondered, why could you not win? Your ideas were extinct and you had stopped learning new ways to write. You sat at home and kept writing till sunlight. You couldn't craft a sentence when your mind was blank. You could never finish the book back then, I think that's quite frank. But don't let me discourage you from reaching your dreams. You just need to know that you will do things you won't love and one day something will fit like a glove. You don't know it yet but you will inspire millions with your craft a euphoric moment that may only happen once. This is the moment you have been waiting for. It will be so dear to your core that you will want to inspire more. You had envisioned this moment every night when you fell asleep and when it finally arrived, you will want to weep. You thought you no longer had the freedom to write, but the moment you stood up and walked away wasn't your first, wasn't your last but it brought you to where you are today.
much for listening today. I hope you enjoyed my poem. And again, go check out my podcast if you want to hear other poems and stories that I've written. Thanks for watching. Bye.